In this video I'm going to share with you in 8 minutes how I replaced the PCV hose, intake manifold gaskets and PCV valve on 2 liters Ford Focus Duratec engine. As you can see that PCV valve is buried under the intake manifold. It wasn't a fun job, lots of <laughs> scratches. Guys, if you first time to the channel please subscribe and click that notification bell you won't miss any videos thank you so much for doing that let's get started lots of work and uh, yeah we'll get it done no worries all right put it in a jack stand make sure everything's safe disconnect a negative battery terminal and uh, time to start disconnecting things we need to remove the upper part of the air cleaner box remove the evap line from the air tubing disconnect the hose clamp and pull that upper part of the air cleaner box undo that hex screw holding that dipstick tube and now we're going to start removing the intake manifold bolts all right those are eight bolts and i started on outside spiral removing them as uh, so just a general rule and this is only question of finding shallow deep sockets uh, extensions swivels and wrenches ratchets and get them out take your time <laughs> you will you will get it. It, it it's really not much fun doing that all right and um, i got all eight bolts out and as you can see my manifold is free all right now we need to get the rest things what's attached and remove that plastic cover for the throttle body we need to disconnect that thing i guess everything is loose disconnect the throttle positioning sensor and remove those uh, four bolts and um, pull the throttle body just disconnect it undo it from the cable bracket and you don't need to disconnect the uh, throttle cables put a rag inside make sure nothing will get inside the manifold and place that throttle away all right disconnect the uh, flap actuator arm and there is also a, a co electrical connector so undo that and there is the egr connector as well there's a bunch of hoses lines and so undo that egr tubing and now i can get inside the manifold space and uh, disconnect that pcv hose on the PCV valve. Yeah, Duratec 2 liters Ford Focuses are great engines, chain driven, lots of power, lots of fun to drive them, but it's a little bit hard to work on them. All right, as you can see, now it's enough room to get there and it's all disconnected. Yeah, <laughs> well, uh, remove that pressure sensor. I just broke those bolts and got it loose, but I would say remove it completely and it will be easy. All right, this is very tight, but you can pull that manifold up out like I did here we go on the ground and those eight eight bolts were removed good time to check the manifold do the carbon cleanup if we need and there's a hose and check those uh, also flaps and there's a hose lines all the connectors on another side a bunch of sensors there's the actuator and PCV and oh boy uh, <laughs> yeah there's our pcv valve and uh, yeah well, everything's under the manifold on this car and now we're going to remove those uh, gaskets put a paper towel inside the cylinder head uh, ports and clean that old dirt and debris with the compressed air good time to check the flaps and um, yeah make sure everything intact check the flap actuator if it moves freely has some resistance on the spring and good time to clean the carbon deposit as, as we're here or you might need to replace the manifold if you want if you need this manifold is still good take that uh, um, Wash her out and pull that uh, PCV valve as well. As you can see, yeah, they're all identical. And don't forget to put a new rubber o ring. New rubber o ring is on. And place the well, push it in, and get engaged in a groove and tie that washer 
over the valve and as soon as it stopped it locked it and it won't go anywhere all right time to remove and clean our cylinder head where the manifold will get placed remove that metal hose clamp and uh, remove the old PCV hose even the hose is okay we're still going to replace that that is like ten dollars part and takes time <laughs> to get there it will all crack you will have a vacuum leaks and will have a problem with your throttle and uh, idle will be rough and yeah we'll put it back here we go remove all those uh, gaskets clean the manifold ports I'm using brake clean and toothbrush and you can use that as well if you have okay wipe with a paper towel use a compressor to blow everything out check if any oil on the bottom of the manifold we have none good and now we see the gaskets but we're not putting them yet we put that um, PCV valve hose already and now we need to place our intake manifold back and it's not really not much room and between the cylinder head and that uh, radiator cross and now we have tons of room behind that fuel rail and we can put those gaskets if you put them on the ground when it's manifold you will damage them when you will be putting the manifold back you will scratch them against the fuel rail as you can see tons of room all right now we'll get your hose connected to the bottom of the manifold and we have a clamp and just slide that hose over use a screwdriver or a set of pliers and lock that clamp in place and everything will be good guys <laughs> all right just uh, push that um, manifold towards the cylinder head place the spray can that this is just penetrating oil and here is a bolt sequence i couldn't find the ford focus uh, any manuals so bolt sequence i spent time looking google online nothing this is from automotive technician school the way we did and uh, you always start at the center and go on a spiral out will work all right i use the electrical tape at the end of my sockets to hold the bolts make sure they won't drop in and uh, yeah i would say remove that pressure sensor and my tip is broke and uh, i need to replace it later all right and i will put some uh, torque specs down in the description below please check that and uh, we're almost at the end just wait a minute and uh, we need to put everything's back connect all those hoses and everything's there place the better negative battery terminal and now is the moment of truth so, you shouldn't have any vacuum leaks have a good throttle respond and idle this is a demonstration how i did it and uh, yeah if you would like to support my small hobby youtube channel go and watch more videos thank you so much and 